Hi, I'm Jack. Welcome to Vaporcore. Today, we're going to be looking at the Proto 650 kit, our little starter kit, perfect for people looking to try and quit smoking or as a first device, or even just something a bit smaller to carry around day to day. Um, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to break the device down, show you how to use it, maintain it, fill it, all those sort of things, and just at the end of it, um, say who would I recommend this to and for what reasons. So, let's have a close look at it. So inside the box, you'll have the kit itself and a charging cable, uh, very simple to use. So the main parts of the kit being the tank and the battery, as well as the charging cable. Uh, this is a standard micro USB fitting. So if you have one of these lying around at home, you can use that one. But if you don't, you do get one in the box so you can just plug that straight in and get it going. You can see the tank will disassemble easily into four small little pieces. And to put it back together, you have the base, which is the small little threaded piece, which actually screws onto the battery. The coil, which we recommend to change every two to three weeks, um, just because this is what actually vaporizes your liquid and it will just taste really burnt and it won't perform as well after a certain amount of time. And that depends on your usage as well as several other things, but mostly your usage. So the more you use the device, the um, shorter the coils will last you. The main body of the tank itself, which is where the liquid is actually stored, and then the drip tip or mouthpiece or whatever you feel comfortable calling it. Uh, this is a small little press fit um, piece where it just pushes into the top. Tanks all back together. Uh, the battery, very, very simple. Um, charging port is on the side here. And then to turn the device on or off, you press it five times. So one, two, three, four, five, and it'll turn off because it was already on. And then one, two, three, four, five, it'll flash, and then it's back on for you so you can use it. So, to fill the tank up, it's very, very simple. All you do is the little knurled piece on the bottom will twist off. And the coil will come off as well. And open up your bottle of juice. Today I'm just gonna fill it up with nice ice from our vapor core range. Very, very just nice menthol flavor. So, you can see in the center there's a little tube. So you wanna fill the um, liquids around the tube and inside the tank still, obviously. So around the tube and then the side. So the best way that I found is tilt it to the side, point the nozzle of the bottle onto the side of the bottle, the tank I mean, and fill, fill, fill. And there is a little fill and refill line on there. So you can use that as a reference. I don't know if that will be too clear, but you can see it on there. And then take this little piece, screw that back in. And everything on the device, you want it to be finger tight and then a little bit. So the way that I normally do it is I'll twist, twist, twist. I'll feel the resistance, give it a little bit of a twist. Then I know it's going to stay in there, but it won't be too hard to get it off afterwards. Um, that's one of the common things that we see people coming in with as an issue is that it's over tightened. And it's just a very simple thing you can easily avoid. Um, so finger tight, then about a quarter of a twist, just so you know that it's going to stay in there comfortably and it's not going to fall out or anything in your pocket. So when that's been filled, leave that for five minutes. So, five minutes later, you can come back to your device. The coil should have soaked up some of your liquid and it should be perfectly ready to go. Take the two pieces, screw them together. Very, very simple. And the same as the tank, finger tight and a little bit to make sure it's gonna be nice and stable on there. Then press the button on the battery five times, it'll turn on. See, it'll flash for you. Light will come on when you press the button, that's how you know it's on. And then enjoy. Um, so this device is tailored towards um, beginners, um, people that want to try and quit smoking, as well as people that just enjoy that tighter sort of draw. So the last thing we're going to go through now is the sort of liquids that I'd recommend to use with this device. Um, ideally, uh, ratio-wise of PG and VG, you would want a 50-50 blend or slightly higher in PG. Um, this is just because the holes on the coil, um, they're not the biggest holes, so they'd have a harder time soaking up the um, thicker liquids. Um, it will work, but it will just clog up your coils, burn them out very quickly, so it's not recommended that you use that. Whereas a 50-50 juice, um, it will still give you a nice amount of vapor because of the slightly higher VG content. Um, and it's just ideal for this device. That's why we paired um, Nice Ice in a 12 milligram. Um, nicotine strength is a preference. I like the 12 milligrams, it gives me a nice strong throat hit. It's not quite an 18, which can be very rough. And it's not quite a six or a three, where it's a little bit too smooth for me personally. So I'd say the best thing is to experiment with your nicotine strength is come into one of our stores, ask us any questions you may have, and give a few things a try as well. And you can find out different flavors, strengths, and also see the device in person. 
If you can't make it into one of our stores, the device is available online. And I would recommend that you check if we're running any offers or promotions at the time, because we do have quite a lot of offers on these running throughout um, weeks, months, years. So keep your eyes peeled. Thank you for watching. What? What do you mean? Why are you giggling like that? <laughs> <laughs> I just had to open the tape. Can't miss it. Marvellous. Where's my knife? Nice. Got fun giggles again. So I'm gonna fill the tank up. <laughs> so hard. <and> <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, 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 no.